What's going on guys? I've got here a 2004 GMC Sierra 1500. I'm gonna use this car to point out to you the location of the two fuses for the windshield wipers and also the washer pump and the relay. So the first fuse for us to check is behind this cover here, which we pull out from the bottom. The fuse here is a 25 amp fuse all the way up here at the top. Power from this fuse is sent directly to the windshield wiper motor. So we can pull it out with some needle nose pliers. And as you can see, this is what a good fuse looks like. The windshield wiper motor has a computer built into it. And that computer is also powered by that 25 amp fuse. And the computer is what directly communicates with your switch here. Now moving under the hood, this is where we will find the fuse and the relay for the washer pump. So it's gonna be behind this cover here, which we remove by just lifting upward. The washer pump relay is this relay right here. And my favorite way to troubleshoot that relay is I'll have an assistant hold the washer on on the switch and I'll come here and I'll tap on the relay. Sometimes relays can get stuck and by tapping or wiggling the relay, you can cause it to start working again. Further troubleshooting beyond that, what we can do is check the fuse, which is right next to it. It's this blue 15 amp fuse and power from this fuse is sent to the relay and the relay then sends that power on to the washer motor when you turn the windshield wiper washer on. Now we can pull this relay out, set it aside, and if your horn works, you know your horn relay works. So we could try putting the horn relay in the position of the washer relay. If after switching the relay, the washer starts to work, then you know that the original relay is probably no good. You can also manually send power to the washer motor by connecting these two pins together. So if you take a wire and connect those two pins, you will be taking power directly from your 15 amp fuse here and sending it straight to that washer motor. That's just a troubleshooting step to see if the washer motor is able to work when you directly send it power. Now, if the wipers are not working or if you're having issues with maybe one of the arms is moving and the other arm is not moving, what I like to do is on the arm that's not moving, I'll pop this cap off here and check to see if this nut is tight. Sometimes the nut will get loose over time or the wiper arm will kind of strip if there's a lot of ice that builds up on the uh, wipers and you turn the windshield wipers on, that's what can happen. So yeah, I hope this information was helpful for you and a good starting point in troubleshooting the windshield wipers on your GMC Sierra. Please let me know if you have any questions or more importantly, any advice.